the new version of D5 Render is here. From Sun Caustics to AI Image Enhancer, the 2.8 has new exciting features. Let's dive into the best ones. D5 Render introduced real-time caustics before. However, it only supported spot, point and area lights. Now we have it for sunlight as well. To add caustics to your scene, just turn on caustics in the Geo and Sky or HDR. This works in both modes. Then enable reflection caustics on the material you want to affect. You can also adjust the caustics brightness and softness. You have probably noticed that D5 Render is becoming the go-to real-time renderer with the most AI features integrated. AI Image Enhancer will improve details such as lighting, textures, people, plants, and it will increase the overall render quality. After rendering an image, you will see an Image Enhancer button. You can choose how strong you want the effect, and once it's enhanced, here's the before and after comparison. D5 Scatter has been updated and now supports adding a culling effect, which will help to define areas free of vegetation assets. It also supports saving a scatter preset to D5 Studio, so you can easily use it in other projects later. With this opacity map, you have more freedom for creating hollow effects on edges, fences and other materials. This adds an Affected by Light option to make the materials transparent while accepting direct or indirect lighting to simulate semi-transparent glass effects. You can enable this option by clicking on the Advanced Transparency option and then activate Affected by Light. You can load the black and white texture map to control the transparency parameter. You can find four new transparency materials in the glass category, which include polycarbonate, sheet, frosted acrylic and gradient glass. This adds a sky color option for AGI. First you select the area of effect, can be skylight, background or both. You can see when selecting the background, it will only affect the background sky. Selecting the skylight will affect everything except the background sky. This will add a rainbow flare effect to simulate the colored glow near the sun typically seen when the camera points directly at it. To see this in action, simply have the sun in the frame and adjust the rainbow flare effect by moving it to the right. This adds an ambient occlusion overlay in preview mode, which can also be rendered into the final image. To use it, go to Effect, then activate AO in the Style section. Now there's a new option to activate AO overlay in preview. You can adjust the parameters here and see how it looks in real time. This will make any texture without repetition. Now there's been an update to this feature that automatically determines if the current map needs to have seams removed vertically, horizontally or in both directions. There are two new plugins for LiveSync, for Rhino and Vectorworks. These plugins are incredibly useful because once your scene is ready, you can transfer everything to D5 with just a click of a button. Any changes you make will update in real time. Every update brings new models and this time we have construction site models. These include characters, outdoor equipment, uh, special vehicles and animated outdoor equipment. If you want to learn more about the latest features of D5 Render 2.8, check out the link below for the full list. Also, be sure to watch my video above where I show you how to create a realistic interior. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.